Alrighty guys, welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name is Taylor Quayle. I'm going to take you through a 2008 Winnebago Journey 39Z model. Now this is a double slide diesel pusher and honestly it's probably my favorite double slide floor plan in the industry. This thing has a, what has it got, a 350 Cummins in it, 22.5 tires. I mean we're going to go through the whole exterior then we're going to jump inside and see what that has to offer but let's take a quick peek. Beautiful color scheme. One of my favorite color schemes too. I mean, you know, some people really like the dark colors, the blacks, the reds, but oh, I love this kind of cream, light brown, white, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Before we get into that compartment, let me show you the size of the tires. 255 80R, 22.5s, six tires total. And here's all your storage compartments. It's got a Freightliner chassis. It's nice heavy duty plastic. See, yeah, it goes all the way up top. I mean, so these are not full on pass throughs, but a good amount of storage. You can see a ladder back there for the rear. Get up to the roof. It does have a outdoor entertainment. No TV, just two speakers and like a, 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 a DVD player, CD player, one of those. Now, full body paint throughout the whole thing, except the decal. That's why the decal does not look so good. And I don't know why Winnebago does this. They've been doing that for a while. Almost every journey I've ever had has that decal issue. Now down below, 27.9 gallons on the uh, propane tank. Battery compartment right here. Now your AC, it's not a rooftop AC. It is located right there. It's a true air system. So it's a dual compressor, more like a residential AC system. And it's actually easier to work on. It does take a little bit longer to cool the coach down because it is traveling further, but very efficient. I, one of my favorite AC systems. I mean, rooftop ACs are nice. They're cheaper to replace, cheaper to work on, but these are quite similar to what you would find in a house. Your awning is on this slide. It's a, just under a tad under 20 feet long. It is electric. You have an electric awning above the door too, way down there. Backup camera, of course. Rear radiator, 10,000 pound hitch with a seven pin connector. You can see on this side, the windows on the other side are covered by the awnings. This side does have a couple window awnings, which is nice. You're gonna be staying somewhere for an extended amount of time. I love to put those out. 50 amp power service, big ol' inverter in there. your dump station winterization water filter sanitization outdoor shower all types of fun stuff missing a light cover see the other side of those top pass-through storages and it looks like you can see that decal on that one that one actually looks pretty good you must have had it in some type of covered parking with the other side a little bit more sun facing. And you do also have side vision cameras when you got your blinkers on, it'll show you all your blind spots. Now, this coach, it's not dirty up front. It did have one of those 3M films, kind of like a rock guard, help protect the front of it. But over time, they do turn into different colors and you could you could take this off it is a little bit of a pain you do need a heat gun and a good amount of time on your hands so you know, up to you but overall good looking coach a little bit of clear coat peeling up top hard to see unless you step back and you can see under the hood here got a Cummins micro quiet 800 and I don't know if you can see the hours there but it says 610.3 so pretty low hours for 12 year old coach now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you guys on pause, go shut all the compartments, and then be able to show you this closed up to an extent with the slides out. Be right back. And we're back. Here's the passenger side, compartment shut. Give you a good look at the front too. I think compared to some of these, are all very similar mo uh, year models. I love the front of these Winnebago's. They look a lot newer than a 2008 does. There you go. Let's jump inside. Two entry steps in. You got a few more up top. Right when you walk into the left, 
ceiling light, light controls, locks, battery disconnect, and then of course your leveling jacks. And then you do have a step cover. It's not electric. It is a manual. Just pull it out and put it out. Passenger seat does have, let me show you on the other side. No, actually, I'm sorry. Thought it was a Libra. You do have a, uh, a leg rest for the passenger, so that's kind of nice. Keep them comfortable. But here is the first peek at the floor plan. And we'll be able to explore all this, but let's start up front this. I don't know if I can get a good angle on this tag. Let's see. Pause that if you want to check it out. Looks like we got one more right here. All right, Allison 3000 series. See our miles right here, 36,157. And then nothing too crazy. You do have an exhaust brake. Got a couple visors down, which is kind of nice. Little sun visors. And then to actually completely sh black it out, you do have blinds, wraps all the way around. And see your backup camera right there. And your side view camera. Uh, that looks a little weird because there's a door right there. And then below all this, you do have a little bit of a storage. Now, there's no desk or no pop-out anything right there because you do have the entry door. So, passenger, I don't know, may have to put a laptop on the legs. Now, I love the cabinets in here. Kind of curved, European style, beautiful. I do have one complaint with them, though. It's very hard to figure out what side to open the cabinets on. Oh, I got that one. What is that? Oh, that's for your King Dome satellite up there. And you got this storage all the way throughout. Oh, see? There we go. Already running into it. So very nice. All that overhead storage with the curved cabinetry. Beautiful. This thing, I mean, for being 12 years old, I've seen plenty of other used coaches that look a lot older than this that are a lot newer so great color scheme i mean very you know the pattern balances but plain pattern <laughs> no paisley designs nothing too crazy here and just a lot of overhead storage you can see this one goes all the way down to the end there you do have these beautiful little accent lights throughout too now right behind us you could actually turn this chair around and give yourself, you know, a little possible desk area. This does, you can see all the power connections there. A little bit of storage down below. It does have a pop-up storage there too. All right, so your first slide, that corner all the way down, right in front of the TV there for the dinette and the couch. Now, Winnebago started as a furniture company. Some of my favorite furniture in the business. Um, you know, they actually... This is all original covering, all original upholstery, and it looks great. You know, it's starting to get a little bit of wrinkling there, but after 12 years, that's not much to complain about. Even the pa or the passenger seats and the driver's seat, they just look phenomenal. I mean, that's 12 years, 36,000 miles, not so bad. It's cool about Winnebago. This does lift up, and you do have a uh, leg rest that pops out right here. Sorry to shake the camera a little bit, but I love showing this. So pretty cool. I mean, hell, you could use that as a little TV stand if you want, leg rest. But when you do extend the bed as a sleeper, You have a qu quite a big sleeping area. Yes, a couple dips, a couple little undulations in it, but very, very comfortable for considering it's an RV bed. Let me put this back up, be with you in a sec. Alrighty, then across from that couch, you do have another couch here. This is a jackknife, so you just lift up and pull out. So they're gonna say on paper, you could sleep eight people in here, including the dinette. Might be a little tight, you know, maybe some children have to be thrown in there, but you could fit eight people in here. Booth dinette instead of a table and chairs, just to increase that sleeping capacity and storage. These are spring-loaded seats. Just lift them up and you can see easily access storage down there. On the other side, you do have a couple seat belts. As you can see down there. Generally in the front-facing dinette, sometimes on the rear-facing, usually not though. 
I got a little bit of uh, literature here. You're welcome to read through. Tried to highlight these as best as I can. And then here is some of the specifications. And then a little bit of additional specs here. Above the dinette, you do have storage. And as you can see, those are all connected, all three of those. Same with above the couch right there. Just flip flop. Day night shades throughout the whole coach. You can see your daytime there, nighttime there. So good shades. I mean, they're not in bad condition either. These, of course, they do. They do get stains, they do, you know, get ripped up pretty easily, but you just got to take care of them. The previous owners definitely took care of these. Entertainment center. You can see that accent light above there too. A little bit of storage down below with a power outlet. And then above that we have your area. I think this is the area for the, yep, DVD player, switch box. And then there is some storage above if you like me can't really see it because I'm short. All right. Now, one thing to point out, that does get covered when the slide comes in. You can see the slide roughly comes in about right there. You know, do it completely have an access way to get to the back. Uh, but we'll talk more about that and I'll be able to show you that a little bit later. Here's the kitchen. Now, Corian countertops, three burner gas stove top with a real backsplash back there. You can see those burners right there. Over on the sink side. Oh, nice metal sink, too. And then you also have a filtered water right there. And that does come out. All right. Now, above. Decent amount of storage. There is no oven in this coach. So you do have a convection microwave. Residential size. And then instead of the oven, you do have just a whole lot of storage. Now, I love some of the features they put in under the sink and just these compartments. You have a little pull-out cutting board right here. It literally never been used. Nice, deep, deep, long drawers. On the right side here, you see that pull-out drawer, and on the right side of that, you can see an area to store your Corian covers. Now check this out. It's a small feature, but trust me, it's a big deal in an RV. If you're environmental friendly, this is the trash can setup for you. And then above that, once again, an additional drawer. So just, I mean, they make great use of the space, and on top of that, they make it efficient because they add these extra drawers. And trash cans and RVs, I'm telling you, start looking. They're tough, they're tough to find decent places for them. All right, so over here, okay, your Norcold four-door fridge and freezer. Bottom two will be your refrigerator. And it is down on the, on the ground, so it is pretty low. You may have to bend down to get to your fruits and veggies down there. And then above us, or above that, I should say, we have your freezer, and there is an ice maker. Very nice. These are actually pretty deep too. It looks good. Above that, a little bit of storage. All right, so Winnebago is also known for doing very efficient pantry storage. Very, very nice. Then again, you got two of them instead of just one. Even more efficient. Hey, you know what? I'll even throw in the black pepper. All right. Now we do have your bedroom right there. We're gonna get to that. One thing that's, one other thing that's cool, you have this little flip open door, and a door that, a pocket door that slides out to give you some protection from anybody in the galley to help give you some privacy. Now instead of going into this bedroom, we're gonna turn around here and we're actually gonna go in to the bathroom after we look at your control panel. Slide controls, generator start, block heater, 
battery and level testers, your true air system thermostat, inverter, and light controls. Door does open in, and you have a, I don't know what they call it, it's not a Jack and Jill, I mean, I guess it could be, but more of a, just a walk-through bathroom. And a decent amount of space, toilet right here, China toilet, does have a little sprayer to get the extra mm, gunk off the toilet bowl. It's a lot of toilet paper storage. Shower is a one piece fiberglass shower. Kind of that styled fiberglass. Looks a little bit nicer. Looks closer to you know, more of a granite or stone look. You do have a seat. Seats do hold 250 pounds. I had to test that out and look it up. No skylight in here. You do have a light, but you actually got a lot of head space. I know, we already know I'm short, but 5'9", you can be well into the six foot range and fit in there just fine. Now your vanity, same Corian tops throughout here as you have in the kitchen. Three different medicine cabinets. Look how deep that is. And look, we found some more documentation. And a decent size sink in here too. Now, down below, a little bit of storage there. I don't know why I showed you all four, but there you go. You have a pocket door here to shut it off from the bedroom. So if you have people staying, you know, of course, in the galley with you, can shut that door and give you a little bit of privacy. This coach does have, it's kind of hard to get a good angle on it, but a upgraded sleep number king bed. You can see the remote controls right there to pump it up or de uh, deflate it. To the left of the bed, we do have your closet. Well, one of your closets. See so on the left side, wardrobe, right side, just lots of storage. And then you got six drawers down below. They're all the same size. I'll show you a couple. And then they're hidden, but you got two more, two more storages right there. A couple little small side tables here. I don't know a lot of people have CPAP machines. I don't know if that one's big enough. Maybe not even that one. But you do have the side storage. Four of these overhead storage compartments. Let me open that so you can kind of see a little bit all the way down. In front of this awesome mattress, you do have a little bench seating area. And that's where that window awning is. But this is actually has storage down below. Really cool. And then of course, your TV. Now, oh wait, still a flat screen. A little bit thick, there's a thicker boy right there, but check this out. Nice little combo washer dryer unit. Better than nothing. Not as good as a residential unit size and efficiency. Definitely better than nothing. All right, and finally, we have your closet. There's one side. Let me show you the other side and I'll step back. Something to point out, king bed does make it a little tight to walk right here. If you got big thighs, it'll be touching. You see your other wardrobe right there. All right. Now, I, I don't think there's underbed storage. So let me try to lift this up with one hand. Nope, no underbed storage. All right. So what I'm going to do really quick, we're going to walk up front. I'm going to show you this coach closed up because one thing I want to point out, you do have this great little hallway right here, but this is all part of a slide. So you do lose this hallway when it comes in. And I, will, I just want to show you that. Let make sure you have a good, a good look at it. Be right back with you. All righty. Here she is all closed up. So you can see you still have a clear pathway to get all the way to the back, but you do lose that left hallway. No chance of fitting through there, but that's why this door goes in you're able to walk all the way to the back. Now, the bench does cause it so you lose that walkway, but if you're doing laundry on the road, you gotta do a little army roll across the bed and get to the uh, um, washer and dryer, but you can do it. You still have access to the right closet. Do you have access to this right? Look at that. So yeah, very cool. I mean, you do lose a lot of the storage capabilities when it is closed up, but you can still get to your fridge, which is kind of a big deal. 
your sink. Now, maybe this is a uh, safety thing they did, but you can't, it's gonna be hard to watch TV while you're traveling. So if you got kids, put them in the back, set them up on a Nintendo Switch or something. Now we're gonna jump outside too, so you can see this bad boy closed up from the exterior. I'll just give you a quick little peek here. If you wanna get more info on this coach, I'm gonna have a link down in the description below. Be to our website with a little bit of contact info if you wanna reach out to me and inquire on this bad boy. But I hope I gave you a good peek at her. Probably put those window awnings up for you. Let me do that. I'll be right back. All right, there you go. Now this coach is at Padata RV Center. We are located in Tucson, Arizona. Once again, my name is Taylor Quayle. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Give me a call. Thanks for viewing. Hope you guys all have a great day.